Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Last month, Indian Army has released acceptance of necessity for 5,000 9x19mm machine pistol, 15,000 ballistic helmet, 1,612 ballistic shields, 7,000 body-worn camera system and 3,400 night sight TI based for Carl Gustav under Pi India category through fast track procurement process. Now recently, the Indian Army has released an RFP for the procurement of 5,000 9x19mm machine pistol to be delivered to Central Ordnance Depot, Jabalpur. The expected range of the machine pistol is 100 meters. The gun should not weigh more than 2.5 kilograms without ammunition. It should have magazine capacity of 30 rounds with a rate of fire of not less than 600 rounds per minute. It should not have length more than 650 mm in extended condition and 500 mm in folded condition. Now this is a good news for indigenous small arms industry and the leading contender in this segment is ASME. ASME is an indigenous 9mm submachine gun which fits perfectly into this category. The gun has been jointly developed by Lieutenant Colonel Prasad Bansod of Army's Infantry School and DRDO. ASME falls under the category of both compact machine gun and machine pistol as it is a fully automatic, magazine fed hand based gun designed to fire pistol cartridges. The submachine gun costs approximately 50,000 rupees. The gun has a length of 382mm in butt folded condition and 612mm while butt extended. ASME has two barrel configuration which is 7.62 inches and 6.5 inches and has a weight of around 2 kg. ASME chambers 9x19mm parabellum in service rounds and uses 33 round Glock magazine. The machine pistol has a range of 100m and rate of fire around 600 rounds per minute. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.